Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome into the stream. How y'all doing? Hello. Hey, everybody. How's it going, guys? Welcome. Welcome back. Uh, in tonight's stream, guys, we are going to be teaching ourselves how to fly the Airbus A310. Um, this is totally different from the other Airbus. Uh, the controls are all a bit all over the place, so it's going to be a bit more tricky. So I'm actually really looking forward to how this goes. Because I feel like I've went back to square one. We've went so long, like, flying the same planes and getting used to them, knowing where all the buttons and controls are. So it's going to be nice actually try to fly something that's um, taking me all the way back to square one. Um, there's a wee bit of knowledge there of how to work certain things, but I'm not 100%. So we're going to sit and work it out and try to get this plane in the air um, from cold and dark, um, all manually without any any help. Guys, we'll, we'll give it our best shot. So if anyone out there knows how to actually do this, you might, you might be of help to me. Um... Larry Jones, because you followed the page. That's why you're getting this shit, dude. So if if, if you don't want to get this shit, then, then you unfollow this shit. That, that's how it works, Larry. Learn how to use Facebook and get yourself a profile picture, son. Because that, that you need one of those. Otherwise, you just look like um, some dodgy old guy. Uh, try, 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 try to be weird. So get yourself a profile picture. And, yeah, just unfollow the page, Larry. Um, and, eh... Uh, your second name looks as if it's spelt wrong. Jones? Shouldn't that be J-O-N-E-S? I don't know. Okay. But that's how you do it, Larry. That's how you do it. What's up, Robbie? How you doing? Peyton, welcome into the stream. Ben, what is up? Tamsin, welcome into the stream, guys. What's going on? Um, okay, guys. We're just about to get going here. I'm just loading up. Um, here we go. Sweet. Now I can see what's going on. And let's hit that like button. Robbie, hello from Miami. Oh, nice one, man. Tuned in from Miami. How you doing? Okay, guys, let's get inside the Airbus A310 and let's get this uh, set up. Okay, let me get my controller. Okay, first of all, I imagine we're going to have to turn on the battery power. Uh, Charlie, when are you next likely to be on Fortnite? I usually go on at night time, Charlie. I don't really have a set schedule with when I play that kind of stuff. Um, it's usually at night. Um, my page is mainly like flight sim, but that's just me having fun after the streams. So, um, usually nighttime, Charlie, and we'll get that we'll get that on. So let's see if we can connect up like our ground power and stuff first. That's where I'm going to start with this, guys. So we can't. So we're gonna to have to get our uh, battery power on. So let's go to. Uh, I've set up some custom angles here. Uh, position two, and our battery switches. So there's three batteries. Let's turn these on. One, two, and three. Okay, now I should hopefully be able to get ground power connected up. Tamsin, my day's been pretty good. It's been not too bad. I went to Ikea today with Nicole. Uh, ground services. Tune in to Prestwick. Uh, we're at Prestwick Airport, by the way. Terry, welcome. And we're going to connect up our ground power unit. You introduced your meet to SBS at 2am this morning. She's posted to help and reputation all over her pages and tagged the band too. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much for doing that, Ben. Hell yeah, man. Uh, may as well get baggage done, get a wee ramp connection and catering and all that stuff. Uh, so we'll just do that as well while it starts running. Sweet, and that's all happening. Okay, so we've turned on our battery power. Um, now I guess we're just going to follow the same sort of procedure as what I would in an Airbus A320. I would go external power next. There we go. Uh, and next up, guys, we're going to get our APU switched on. So our APU is down here, so we're going to switch that on low pressure fuel pump that's fine and we'll hit start switch to on and there must be a way to monitor this um okay we're now going to align our irs so um how we're going to do that i think we'll be on the overhead panel here so let's just go to our overhead so we're turning on our navigation systems here um let's see if i can work this out it's going to be a bit tricky. See, this is where it gets hard because I have no idea where anything is. Um, so we'll go to our overhead panel. I assume... What did I just click? Um, I assume it's going to be above us. Alright, let me see here. 
Let's see if we can get a slightly better look of this overhead panel. Okay, I see them. So these are our navigation systems. So one on, two. Okay, so there's three all together by the looks of it. So three. And we're gonna set this to HDG SDS. That's similar to like the Boeing, uh, uh, the Boeing, uh, what is it? The 737, 700 series where you can align that, so that is on. What's up Garfield, how you doing man? Try to teach myself how to fly the, uh, or turn on the um, the new Airbus A310. Okay guys, next up we're going to just get some lights on here. So we're going to go for a beacon lights and our nav lights, so they are now on. And we're going to turn on our uh, oxygen system, get them off just now. Uh, we'll turn that ignition off just now actually, don't want that on. Oxygen system, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Um, here it is. Here, so we're just going to click on. Okay, that's the gauges starting to move. It's looking good, guys. Please make sure to hit that like button on the stream if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much. Uh, you've noticed the tailwheel on the DC3 moves when you turn. That's pretty cool. Is that meant to do that? Okay, guys, now that that's done, let's just check uh, that APU is available. Which is what we want. And anti ice, may as well get these on, why not? Uh, turn on our. Did I not switch that on? Oh, you've got to do it twice, really? Okay, interesting. Uh, taxi light, we'll turn that on as well. Vinny, welcome into the stream, Vinny, how you doing? Uh, you're gonna go relax, you still feel like crap. Oh, Tamsin, hang around with us, we'll make you feel better. We'll make you feel better. Okay, seatbelt signs are over here. Let's get those on. No smoking sign on. Okay, we'll just get these on as well. It's some lights for us. What's up, bro? Popping in to say hi, and I'll see you tomorrow night. See you tomorrow night, Scott. Thank you for tuning in with us, man. Just to say your hellos. Always appreciate it, dude. Okay, so engine one anti-ice. There's a fall. Okay, that's probably just... Uh, if you... Okay, sweet. Um... Now we're just going to go down here and click on APU. Let's just monitor that. So it is available. Okay. Nice. Let's see if we can get our... What's this here? Pro P. May as well get this all on. Window heaters on. Okay. APU says available. I'm not too sure like, how you actually go about turning that on, but that's... So there is a fault with the the anti-ice there. Hmm. This is where it gets tricky. Hey, no offense, but it didn't really help me in the past few days even take the best out of you, isn't it? Ah, uh, okay, Tams, I understand. I understand. If it's not helping, then obviously that's 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 a different story. That's a different story. So Jad, thank you for your like on the stream, buddy. Okay guys, I think um, we just go for a straight up like engine start. I think that's kind of what we're we're going to be doing here. So let's get that done. So our engine bleed valves are all on. So we're going to go to our ignition, and we are going to go to start. And let's start these engines. Okay, so air's been fired in, and let's go over to our tablet here. So I just wanted to make sure that our IRS position is actually set. That's pretty important. For some reason, I don't know why, but I usually have a display. See how you guys can see my mouse? I don't know why this one isn't working. That's very weird to me. Like, I literally have no idea why you guys can't see this when I click on the game. That's really annoying. So that is actually really, really confusing me. I don't know why that's doing that. Okay, our engine 2 is powering up. Yeah, this is the enhanced uh, 
A310. This is the enhanced A310. Okay, guys, we're going to go over and set our speed. Now, I don't really know what the takeoff speed of this would be, but I'm just going to, again, just copy what I would do in the Airbus um, A320. So I would usually set this to like 180. We don't need to push back. We're at Prestwick Airport, so we can just pretty much taxi straight out. sure that that's a fair position. Okay, 180 knots. Plane's powering up nicely. And that engine back into this position would be so much easier. Oh, the wooden plane, Dustin! <laughs> right, we've managed to get the engines going, which is sweet. Um, altitude. That's oh, that's so strange. The altitude not being here. I'm so used to it being over here. So we've got speed, altitude, heading, and vertical speed. Nice. Okay. So we'll set this to fifteen thousand feet to start us off. Sarim, welcome into the stream, Sarim. Getting the autopilot to work will be a funny one. Okay, we'll punch that in, punch that in. Flight directors um, on. Both sides, we want that. And on. Okay. This will be interesting. Really don't know what to expect. Okay, where's our auto brake? Where is that? That's what I want to. Does it? It should have auto brakes, right? Let's see. See what we've got here. So it's got a brake fan, so we've got that. That is there. Auto brake, auto brake. Did these things have auto brakes? Okay, I'm just going to test our speed brake here. So that's only bringing it out halfway, so surely that comes down even more. That's our speed brake set to full. Okay, so that's all good. And then we can retract that. Uh, flaps will put five degrees. So flaps have set nicely. What's this here? That's our parking brake. What's this here? I think that might be like weather radar or something. I'm not too sure what that is. Not 100% sure. Okay, let's bring this back to show our engines. Both engines are looking stable. Okay, my only problem right now is I don't know where the hell like the auto brake is. Oh, well, never mind. I found it. Okay, auto brake is here. So it only gives you the three options, similar to the, the Airbus A320, but instead of it being over here, it's actually um, just above this panel here. So we're going to set that to max. Um, Anti-skid is on. I think we're actually... I think we're good, guys. I think we might be good here. I think we are good. Okay, next up I'm going to try attempt to program our FMS. This is where it gets funny. Guys, please make sure to hit that like button, hit that follow button. We are doing a setup of the Airbus A310. Okay, so we're going to go to our init page. And we're going to be flying from Presswick, EGPK. Uh, we've got to get rid of this actually, clear. EGPK, and we're going to Gatwick, EGKK. Hopefully this works. From and to. Then we're going to go to the flight plan. So that's not showing up. Why is that not showing up? Hmm. So this might be a bit different then. E G P K to E G K K. Chris, uh, Chris Ocket, 
Is that how you say that? Chris Ocket? <laughs> oh, that's not... Oh, it did enter in. Strange. Very strange. Okay, that should be in there. Flight plan. Ah, there we go. We got it. Okay, so it doesn't let you enter in like a runway. Which is what I would usually do on the... Interesting. Oh no, there we go. There's our runways there. Okay, we'll use ILS runway 26 left for our landing. So that has been selected. There's no insert button, which is weird. Just done your first flight in the DC-3. Nice one, man. How did it go? Um, ah, there we go. Okay, runways. Let's just select runway 30 and return. Okay, so let's see if that built up our flight plan for us. Let's load up the map. Let's see if what I just done did anything at all. Probably not. Let's, let's check it out. Presswick to Gatwick. Let's see if that flight plan went in there, guys. Uh, we're doing a test flight in the A310 press week to Gatwick to see how well we get on here. See through. I think that worked. I mean, the waypoint's all set up and everything, so let's, let me just double check. Flight plan. I mean, it's all there. Okay. I say we give it a shot, guys. Let's see. Let's see how well we've done. Okay, let's taxi to our runway. So everything's ready to go. We've just got to disconnect. Uh, in fact, how about we just? Yeah, we'll just we'll just push back manually here with the reverse thrust. We're not even going to call in the tug. Ooh, this thing's got some fucking meat to it when it when it taxis. Jeez. Yeah, that'll be enough to get us by. Okay, and um, we're just going to push forward slightly on the throttle. And let's taxi to our runway, guys. How's everyone doing anyway? You guys all good? What's been happening? Bob King, welcome into the stream, Bob. Keep those likes coming, guys. Really appreciate it. Almost at 50 likes already. Thank you so much. So far, so good. Bob King coming in with the first star donation of the stream with the 500. Thank you so much, Bob. Let's go, man. Thank you very, very much, dude. Hell yeah. So we've managed to... Turn on and get the Airbus A310 started up, guys, from scratch. So I'm quite happy with that. I've got no idea about the next step about activating the autopilot. I'm just going to kind of copy what I do in all the other Airbus, that, uh, Airbuses that I've flown. But that's not to say that that's going to work. So bear with me. It may be a bit dodgy at first, but hopefully we can grasp it and nail it. It's going to be tricky though guys, it's going to be tricky. Keep smashing that like button for me guys, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, let's try to get to that 50 likes. If you haven't hit that like button yet, smash it guys. We're just taxiing to our runway at the moment. And the A310. I got myself a new cup today guys. So, good news and bad news. Uh, you got a bit of time to watch the stream. Bad news is you're in hospital after having a heart attack. Oh, D, I'm so sorry to hear about that. Are you still in hospital just now then, D, I take it? And how long are you going to be in hospital for? My God. So sorry to hear that, D. So sorry to hear that. 
Gay Tasso, welcome to the stream, Gay. Okay, we're almost at a runway here, guys. Almost at a runway. Robert coming in with the 500 stars as well. Robert, thank you so much. And you've just activated a star party challenge, Robert. Thank you so much, dude. Honestly, that means the world. 1,000 stars already, guys, at the start of the stream. That is amazing. Thank you so much, guys. If anyone would like to help me hit the star party, guys, the star link is in the chat. fb.com forward slash stars. We've got five minutes to hit 1,800. Uh, you're not too sure how long you're here for. The food is terrible and they won't let me go outside for a smoke. Oh, really? Dude, the, last, the, last, the least they can do is let you go outside and have a smoke. You've just had a heart attack. Jesus. That's terrible. Dude, I hope you have a speedy recovery and you're out of there soon. Hospitals are horrible places to be. Especially when you're not well. Hey guys, almost at a runway for takeoff. I'm actually quite proud of myself for getting this switched on. Because this is totally different. It looks more like a Boeing 737 interior than what it does on an Airbus. Which is probably how we managed to actually get it on, to be honest, because it's very similar. I definitely missed steps though, so I'm going to have to write all this down and come up with my own like mini checklist to try and work this out. Guys, if anyone's shopping in Ikea, by the way, I highly recommend buying these. Uh, it's a campfire scented candle. Not a campfire, a fireplace scented candle. It literally smells like burning wood. It's absolutely amazing. It only costs two pounds from uh, Ikea. Tamsin, an allergic reaction to what? Gonna taxi through this uh, fuel truck. <laughs> I only buy from Amazon now. You do you have IKEA? You do have IKEA actually in the in the states. You do. IKEA is great. Uh, I'm hoping to be home in the next couple of days. Shrug. If my ticker is going to give up, at least it can do it whilst I'm uh, chowing back a half a kilo pork chop. <laughs> I love your spirit, D. Honestly, that's the way to be. That is the way to be. I love that spirit. You're going to be just fine, D. Just keep your head up. You've got this. Don't let don't let the heart attack beat you, man. You've got this. You've got this. We're all here to support you through it. You know where where to find us, man. Okay guys, just about to taxi onto our runway here. Amazon's the place to be. Hey, it's been a while. I joined your feed. How is your lungs? My lungs? My lungs are good. My lungs are good. How's your lungs? You've been dying for a pizza since you mentioned it, so you got pizza and they didn't have the garlic mayo. Oh yeah, you're you're allergic, aren't you? To the tomato base. Okay guys, we're going to stop the plane and we're going to turn on the rest of our lights here. Everything's totally in different places, this is awkward. Uh, landing lights are on, wing lights on. There we go, uh, that's supposed to be there. I accidentally must have hit that on. Okay, and let's begin our taxi out to our runway. Uh, we're just flying the standard A310 livery on this one. Nothing special. You'd see what I say to people when I tell them I've ha you have epilepsy. If you see me having a seizure, chuck me in the bathtub with your laundry and get a load done. <laughs> D, that's <laughs> dude. That is... <laughs> that is, that's pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie, that. <laughs> D, that is so funny. <laughs> I can't believe I, am I allowed to laugh at that? <laughs> you can't even have salsa, my god. Hey guys, turning on to our runway. I think Paul Wadey was on here, I think I seen Paul. 
Okay, guys, moment of truth. Let's see if we can fly this bad boy. Hey, Wadey, whenever you're ready, if you don't laugh, you will offend me. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> that is a good one, though. Okay, Phil, whenever you're ready. Guys, give me some hell yes in the chat. This is our first actual flight in the Airbus A310 from uh, Prestwick Airport to Gatwick Airport. Um, this is the first time we've done a setup of this plane and we've managed to get it switched on. Let's see if we can do the next steps of actually getting the autopilot to work and get safely over to Gatwick without crashing. Let's do it. Zahid, welcome to the stream. Hope you're well. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm just going to double check. Flaps are set. We are good. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's get that throttle up. go. Takes a while for the engines to properly kick in. But we got it. I think Flight Sim's definitely going to be laggy for a couple of nights, guys, whilst everyone gets used to this update. Whenever new updates like this come out, everyone just hops on Flight Sim to check it. See what it's like. Okay, we're going to rotate 140, so V1 and rotate. Okay, we're in the sky. And um, we're gonna get that gear up. Okay, nice takeoff. Just gonna unplug my controller. Can't get enough of your videos. Thank you so much, Steve. Okay, we're in the air, guys. Uh, we're now gonna retract our flaps. Level off the aircraft. We'll pull back on the throttle here. I wonder if this has the... No, it doesn't. It's an older version. So we're pulling back. Okay, let's see if this got a, an auto throttle is what we're... So there's a the auto throttle there. So we're going to switch that on. And we're going to target 250 knots. We're going to turn our AP1 on. And we're going to climb out to 15,000 feet. I think this might be working. Nav, we're going to switch that on, and we're going to... Yes! It's following the flight plan! Let's go! Look at me! Look at me go! I'm proud of myself, this is sweet. Okay, we got that working. 250 knots, let's see if we can get this vertical speed, so... I'll do that in just a second. Did too much at the one time here. I'm proud of that. Okay, 250 knots, let's see if that targets that properly should do we'll just select that in looks like we're climbing out properly okay let's see if we can control our vertical speed here so I would imagine okay so that's the only thing I've not managed to work out just yet so only thing the vertical speed so that isn't working when I click it it may actually be because the nav system's on so no it's not because of that um I suppose as long as flight level changes on, so that's this button here, we should climb up and level off at 15,000. So let's keep an eye on that. So we're currently at 10,000 feet, so we're going to get our landing lights off. Taxi lights, they should be off now as well. That wasn't our taxi lights, that's our wing lights, that's our taxi lights. And our seat belt sign can go off. There we go. Patrick, what's up, dude? Oh, I'm anything but Patrick, honestly, but I'm getting, I'm getting the hang of this, getting the hang of this. Okay, and I should be able to zoom out here. So that's the zoom out button for the map down here. Okay. There, and we're set to ARC is what we want it to be on. Okay, 12,000. Let's see if we level off at 15. Let's see if we level off at 15,000. If we don't, then we'll need to work out how we level off. We might just have to put it in altitude hold mode. But this is, I think, slowing down. This is looking good. That's slowing down. So we should level off at 15,000 feet, guys. We're targeting 250 knots, so our auto throttle is working perfectly. Now we're above 10,000 feet. We can actually push this up to 290, and this should go up on our horizon. 
which is where we monitor the altitude and the the speed so and there you go we're climbing up to 280 knots hell yeah and we are leveling off at 15,000 let's go okay I've managed to work out the autopilot that was a lot easier than what I what I expected it to be and we're now targeting 290 knots we're just approaching 280 And then the last thing I want to check is if we're following our flight, pla flight, flight plan properly. So let me check. Hopefully we are. If we aren't, then we may just have to fly heading. Okay, so it's not following that properly. So that's something that we're going to have to work out just now. So let's do heading select mode. And let's see if we can... There we go. We're going to fly heading, guys. Just like we would in the Boeing 737. Um, so this is actually similar, so I can't get the nav one to work just yet. It may take a little while for me to actually to get used to getting that to work. But heading's just the same, guys. I'm going to set the heading for Gatwick Airport. And you see how the plane's starting to turn? So if I change this knob here, the plane's going to start to go to the left. But we're, we're wanting to turn it around to the right, so I'm just going to keep switching this round. And we're going to fly in heading mode towards uh, Gatwick Airport. Very, very similar to the 737. Like, I'll keep saying that, it really is. Which is kind of giving me a little bit of knowledge on how to actually do this. Which I like, because it means I'm not totally in the dark with it. Okay, let's set it to 70 degrees. We may have to change that a bit, a bit in a little bit, guys, um, if the plane starts to level off, but it's looking good. Just gonna launch that over to the other screen so it's not blocking your view. Okay, we're gonna turn it a bit more. The planes don't need pilots today. Push a button and the plane fly itself. Kind of. You've just gotta make sure you're pushing the right buttons, Kenny. Okay, let's uh, try 115 degrees. See if that puts us on our course towards Gatwick. It should do. Guys, can I um, please ask everyone in the chat to type exclamation mark notify? Facebook have recently turned off. Um, I had 70,000 notifications um, turned on from people that follow me. So 70,000 people out of the 100,000 people that followed me had my notifications turned on. Facebook has had a bug and it's happened to a lot of streamers where notifications have been turned off. And it's actually happened to some of my followers, people that tune in every night. Um, and I've had 31,000 uh, people's notifications turned off, which is a massive jump. So I'm asking everyone that watches the stream, if you could please just type exclamation mark notify, and that will just uh, turn on uh, the notifications in the stream again, guys. Um, if you are wanting to tune in on a regular basis, um, that's the way to do it. So please just double check um, and type in exclamation mark notify. Um, it really does suck. Like, I can't believe, like, that many people's notifications have been turned off but there's nothing I can do about it apparently Facebook are investigating why it happened and um, but it's a massive a massive loss for me obviously uh, and the page so if everyone could please just type that and make sure that your notifications are turned on and um, that really does help me out David thank you for doing that Tim thank you for so Tim's yours are still on great David so yours were off that's yours now on David thank you for doing that Mark Flexman, yours were on. Awesome, Mark. Thank you for doing that. Paul Wady. Yeah, just make sure that they're turned on, guys. Paul's are on as well. Sweet. Thank you for doing that. Yours did get removed, Tim. Yeah, honestly, it happened to a lot of other streamers, man, and it's, it's a joke. It's a total joke that they've done that. Um, literally, people that have been following for, like literally almost two years and have tuned in pretty much every day that I've went live, their notifications get turned off as well, so really really disappointed that that's happened and Facebook have done that, but we're, we're I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cry about it, we're just gonna suck it up and get everyone to just try turn them back on again. Tomorrow you'll hit six hundred days. Paul that is insane. Thank you so much for following for that long and putting up with me for for that long, dude. That is crazy. Totally crazy. 
Okay guys, so far, so good. Everything's looking great. I'm just gonna plug in my controller here so that we can get some some views by just turning the camera here like that. Okay, we're at 15,000. What we're gonna do is crack this up to 27,000 feet. Keep on trucking, absolutely man, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Okay, and let's set this to, let's just set it to 20,000. There we go, 20,000 flight level change, and we should start climbing. There we go, so our altimeter is on the rise. Sweet. Paul, are you flying nav mode or heading mode? Or are you doing flying totally manually right now? Get rid of that just now. Tell you what I'm going to turn on. I'm going to turn on the um, points of interest uh, display. There we go. Just shows us that we're flying in the right direction. I don't need to keep loading up the map every two seconds. Flying heading mode is just uh, going to be a little bit different. 240 if we zoom out. Let's see. Set that to map. Awesome. Okay, and we're on route to Gatwick, guys. I'm just going to turn our heading a tad more in just a few seconds here. So, fire up to about 250, uh, 155 degrees. There we go. Lovely. All these little sun visors that they've added in. That's sweet. Check that out. Tamsin, you've been following for 637 days. That is that is mad. Red just popped up on my news feed one day. Yeah, that's um Facebook like literally just push out the streams to like random people and that's kinda how people kinda find the page. And if people tune in and like it then I guess, like you guys that do enjoy it, hang around. Let's see if this has got a nav map. Does it have that? Shows you where we're going right enough. That is pretty damn cool. Oh. Calculate. That's, that's pretty sweet. So we can control our doors from here. Jetway. Pushback tug, you can control that. That's nice, I like that. I love how they've made it look a bit more old fashioned as well. Control the fuel. Nice. Turn the brightness up as well, sweet. David, you've been following for 599 days. Let's go, guys. Thank you all so, so, so much. Honestly, you guys rock. I really appreciate the support. Guys, please make sure to hit that like button if you haven't done so. Hit that follow button as well. If you'd like to support the stream further, guys, hit that star link uh, in the chat. Remember, I'm running a competition right now as well. If you'd like to try win £100 or whatever your currency is, $100, 100 euros. All you need to do to enter, guys, is send 500 stars. Every 500 stars counts as one competition entry into my competition. And we're going to be drawing the prize winner on the 15th of December. So make sure if you're entered to tune in then. So competition is open until the 15th of December, guys. I know that's a lot of days, David. A lot of days. A lot of days. No idea what these buttons do here. I imagine they turn off any like warning sounds. That's your terrain. Sweet. So that's good to know. Bunch of compasses. So much in here. So much. Patrick coming in with the 200 stars. Thank you so much, Patrick. Legend. Thank you, man. Oh, this is our, uh, 
I think this is our weather. Is that our weather radar? I don't know. I did, no uh, I did notice there were a lot of old alarm cancel buttons in there. Yeah, it did. There are. You noticed that? One, two, three, four, five, six of them. And obviously, I think these ones as well. Whereas on the other Airbus, there's like, I think two. Maybe three. No, that's the weather radar there, I'm sure. I'm sure it's this one. I'm sure it's that one. Either people make a lot of mistakes in that airplane or there's a lot to worry about. I think it's there's a lot to worry about, Patrick. Have you noticed guys there's no there's no button to lock the cockpit door? <laughs> so yeah, that's that's quite worrying. <laughs> that's very worrying. David with the 145 stars as well. Thank you so much, David. That's that's pretty concerning, man. It's pretty concerning. Wait, can you pull the fuses? No, you can't. Oh, that's a shame. That's no fun. Doesn't let you pull any fuses out. Come on. Ah, oh, come on now. None of these work back here. Do any of those switches work? Yeah, dude, there's a lot to worry about. Look at all these circuit breakers. Shalim coming in with a like. Thank you, Shalim. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a lot to worry about. And some are missing as well. That's not good. <laughs> Plus, the game's A310. The throttle does not respond to your input. I agree, actually. I did notice that the... The response on the throttle is pretty bad. It's not the best, man. Not the best. Um, okay, let me see here. Let me see. There were 260 nautical miles out, guys. I'm just going to crank our speed up to 300 knots. Might be able to get it at 340 actually. Let's see, let's push the limits on this thing. Why not? What have we got to lose? Let's see if we get any overspeed noises. <coughs> Jerome coming in with the 50 stars as well. Let's go, Jerome. Guys, we're almost at 1,500 stars. Let's go. Thank you, guys. Hell yeah. Thank you so much, Jerome, David, Patrick. Robert and Bob King, thank you guys. Of course the antihistamines haven't worked. I can feel our reaction happening. Tamsin, have you got like a do you have like EpiPens or anything that you can that you use? Do you ever use those? Patrick with another E5, let's go! Thank you, man. Hell yeah. Thank you very much guys, thank you. That's awesome. Thank you so much. 20 stars away from the 1,500. It's flying nicely. So far, so good. I'm a bit worried about the landing. Landing's going to be totally manual as well. Oh no. It's a nice looking plane. Although, I will admit, it's very laggy when flying, guys. Very laggy. Does it lag for you, um, Paul? Out of all the planes that I've... The new planes that I've flown, this one's very laggy. And I don't know why. Bill, welcome into the stream. How you doing, Bill? Nope, you don't have an EpiPen, as they don't really give them to people as the doctors here are shocking. What? Soph, what's up, Soph? Soph, can I just say thank you so, so, so much for the the birthday gift? I, I broke and opened it up last night. Oh my god, it is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. 
Jerome with another 50 stars. Thank you so much, Jerome. Hell yeah, man. Thank you. Uh, yeah, guys, so it's my birthday tomorrow. I turn 29. I will be doing a stream, by the way, if anyone wants to come hang out. Why is it saying I lost connection? We're still connected. Um, and so I've sent, um, sent a gift. Yes, uh, I'll go get I'll go get it, guys, and I'll show you. Just give me a moment. Give me a moment. Yeah guys, so so sent this silver. So we've got a pill card here. It says uh, Gamers don't age, they level up. Happy birthday, Game Boy Red. How cool is that? Hold on, let me let me load the camera up a bit. So yeah, so sent this over guys, so Gamers don't age, they level up, happy birthday, Game Boy Red. Really cool. Love it so. It says, I saw this card and knew instantly it met the theme. Happy birthday to my brother from another mother. So thankful for you. Have the best day, so thank you so much for the honestly the card made my day so that was awesome. And then the gift. The gift. Um So <laughs> I love this. I love this. So cool. So I've got me uh, these chocolate controllers that really don't want to eat them. Because they look so cool. Look at that. Like chocolate Xbox controllers. Like, 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 like. <laughs> How cool is that? So, if, honestly, thank you so much for the birthday gift. Thank you. These are so cool. How badass is that, guys? So, if you're awesome, it literally, literally looks pretty legit. I wonder if I can plug it in and play with them. I've kept good care of, kept good care of them. I, I've taken good care of them. Street Racer, thank you for the raid, bro. Again with the raid. Honestly, thank you very much, so. They're awesome. I'm just going to set them over here. Away from the candle. Let's go. <laughs> Honestly, such a kick ass present. I really, really love it, so. Thank you so much. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, dude, I've still returned that favor, man. Still returned that favor. Let me actually add you to my... Hold on. Street Racer. I'm just going to add you to my raid list. And it means it will show me exactly when you're live. Because I, I'm not one to ignore doing a favor for someone as well. So let's keep that in there. Okay, dude, you have now been added to my raid list. So I will see when you're live, man. And I will return that favour when you're when you're live, bro. I will return that favour. Thank you so much again for the raid and tuning it ended. How's how is the stream? What where are you streaming actually, Street Racer? What are you on tonight? Okay guys, we're 217 nautical miles away from Gatwick. Um Oh shit, so we're just on the brink of overspeed, but we're actually fine. So 340 knots was pretty bang on. I think if I tried to go any faster than that, we'd get some warning sounds. Let's see if we get any warning sounds. Let's push it at 350 and see if it starts beeping at us. Good, you just got flying the A310. Istanbul to Egypt, hell yeah. Did you fly it manually, Street Racer, or did you get the autopilot working or anything on it? I'm not getting any beeping sounds. No warning sounds at all. You're literally debating whether to get the chocolate or not because I couldn't remember how much of a chocolate fan you were. So, I love chocolate. Like, I eat chocolate all the time. 
Yeah, no beeping sounds, guys. Let's just lower that back down to 340 so we're not stressing the plane. I do have stress mode turned on, so this shit will literally black out if we crash. You got everything working. Uh, you do sim brief with VATSIM. Oh, nice one. Hell yeah, man. I get banned from VATSIM, Street Racer. Um, I was flying um, in France uh, when I was kind of learning how to use it. Um, and uh, there was this French ATC controller that um, wouldn't let me land at all. Like he was just being a dickhead. So I told him, to, I told him to fuck off, um, and he didn't take it well. And then I continued to then fly into the ATC tower. Uh, <laughs> I, I get really pissed off at him. He caught, he caught me on a bad day. So yeah, he, 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 he reported me to VATSIM. Uh, <laughs> Along with a, 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 a script of what I had said. Um, and I got banned. Uh, one way to do it. Yeah, exactly, man. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Make a new account. I'm going to do... Do you know how you have to set, like, the test to go through it? I just couldn't be bothered doing that again. So uh, I, will get, I will get it done eventually. I'm going to have to. Um, but, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> that must have been a good, like, six months ago now. Dude, they take things so seriously. Like, literally, they do. See, when that email came in, I, I literally wanted to fly to France just to find the guy to just have a converse, conversation with him. Just a conversation. Um, Sean, yes, you got the new update. Let's go, man. Let's go. The only thing I really don't like about the new update is the sound of the engines on the Airbus A310. They're, they're, they cut right through you. They cut right through you, man. The sounds are hard to listen to. I'm glad you're enjoying it though, man. You didn't take any of the tests. Teach me your ways. How? Michael Canning, what, what's going on, Michael? Welcome to the stream, dude. Thank you for your like. Uh, does this mean that you can post uh, to the Facebook and Instagram world about the chocolate uh, now with a photo? Absolutely, so, and I will be doing that, so don't you worry. Don't you worry. I've officially announced it. I don't think you really have to. Dude, I am sure it wouldn't let me go any further. I'm so sure it wouldn't let me do it. If it does, then I'm totally game for it. What other games do you stream, uh, Street Racer? And what's your name, by the way? I'm Josh. Just in case, instead of calling you Street Racer constantly. To be a controller, you do. Right, someone's getting a slap to the face then because I've been lied to. I sat a test, man. That's not fair. Ramsey is my name. Flight Sim is my game. I'm kidding on. <laughs> what do you think uh, they will come out with next? Um, hopefully the Air Airbus A380, um, Sean. I'm really hoping we get an A380. We get Wilter in with the sheer. Thank you, Wilter. Guys, keep smashing that like button. Thank you so much. Get those likes on, guys. Thank you. Hey, there he is. We Ramsey. Hey. Dude, I'm going to add you as a friend. May as well. Why not? Where is it you're from, Ramsey? What part of the shitty world do you live in? I'm from Glasgow, Scotland. <laughs> Ramsey with the double like. Dude, thank you so much. Really appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. All right, dude. That's a Matthew McConaughey. All right there. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Michigan. Hell yeah, dude. I've been to Michigan. It's 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 quite a shitey place. I'm getting done. Michigan's all right. I've been all over the states. All over the states. Tamsin with a triple like. Let's go, Tamsin. Thank you. This lad is so good at streaming. Who? Who's good at streaming? Are you talking about Street Racer? He's a shite streamer. I'm kidding, dog. He's good. I'm, I, I'm just kidding. He's a, he's a really nice guy. Oh, Sean, look at Sean sucking up my ass. 
Sean's looking up my, my wee Scottish ass there. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> yeah, Ramsey, what other games do you stream? Is it just Flight Sim or do you do you stream anything else? I just do things seriously. I like more realistic flying. <laughs> well, you're in the wrong place, Ramsey. <laughs> you are in the wrong place, my, my, my friend. I like realistic flying too, but my way. <laughs> Literally, my way. <laughs> I follow the rules, but I also break the rules. I bend the rules to suit myself. FAA who? Everyone is different. Nah, dude, honestly, I can appreciate like the full-on realistic flying side of things. Um... I can cope with it to an extent. There's some days I like to do it realistic. Some days I will literally, um, you'll see me lying, like my plane lying in a field. It's that's just the way I roll. You play Battlefield, GTA, sometimes other games, probably Assassin's Creed when it comes out. Ah, oh, nice one. Are you into like uh, battle royale games or anything at all? Ramsey, we should totally like. Um, what about like? I I hate to say it, but dude, this game's become popular again. I'm just saying Fortnite. Ram Ramsey's like, oh no, he's a Fortnite kid. I'm not actually, but I've recently gotten back into it. You've got COD. I'm, that's nice. I've got a salmon. What you Everyone, Ramsey's got a COD. I've got some mackerel. Got got salmon. Haddock. Do you like haddock? Um, I've never been much of a COD guy myself. Um, if I was to go for a, a fish to eat, though, I'd go for salmon. Not your thing, Fortnite? Nah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Can't handle the pressure, Ramsey. Is that what it is? <laughs> I've got a herring. <laughs> Ramsey, you'll soon find out that I'm very sarcastic. And I'm sorry. <laughs> You're more of Battlefield. Dude, Battlefield is really good. I've actually not played the new Battlefield yet. I've been meaning to download it. It looks insane, though. I was more of a Battlefield... I think, was it Battlefield 4? I think it was Battlefield 4 I was really into. I like Salmon, don't hate me. Salmon's great! Patrick, I'm, I'm into the Salmon. I love Salmon, me. I cook a beautiful Salmon, by the way, if anyone's ever wanting one. Okay, guys, 20,000 feet. Um, we are... 152 nautical miles out. We'll start a descent like 16 nautical miles out. The new one is not that great. It's just uh, as it's oh, it's just multiplayer. So there's no story mode. Dude, I love the battlefield story modes. Oh my goodness, they were great. Anna, welcome to the stream, Anna. Guys, once again, if I could kindly ask everyone to hit that like button, give the stream a thumbs up, thumbs up, hit that follow button. We're at 1,500 stars as well, guys. Um, 25 percent. Uh, to our star goal, we've got another 75% to hit tonight if possible guys. If you'd like to support the stream further, hit that star link in the chat guys and let's try get to that 6,000 stars. fb.com forward slash stars in the, the chat, that is the star link guys. Remember I'm going to be giving away £100 or $100, 100 euros, whatever currency you use this month. Um, to enter my competition all you need to do is send 500 stars. Every 500 stars counts as one competition entry, and there's no limit to how many times you enter. So the more entries you have, the higher odds you have of winning, uh, because your name just gets added to a spin wheel for every time you enter. So if it lands on your name, you win the money. So make sure to get involved. Thank you so much for all the entries tonight. Uh, we've got um, Robert and Bob King. Uh, thank you for the stars. Patrick as well. They will all be counted towards the 500, by the way, just so you know. Um, David Hand with the stars as well. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Tamsin, you've sent way too much. Any more from you and there won't be any stars left? Did I like the stream? No, I didn't. What's wrong with me? There we go. 15,000 times, and is that really how much it is? I've not looked yet. I've not looked at the total. 
I'm scared to because I'll just want to slop you even more. Ramsey says, all right, better get going. Got company coming for the UFC fight uh, night tonight. That was really hard to say. Ramsey, have a fantastic night, man. If I see you live, you're the first person I'm going to be raiding, man. Thank you so, so much once again. Everyone, make sure to like and follow for support. Absolutely. Guys, massive shout out to Street Racer 777. Go check him out. And thank you once again. Have a great night, uh, Ramsey. Have a great one. I'll be on tomorrow as well, man. So if I if I if I if I end this my stream and you're live, you're getting a raid. Have a good night, dude. What a nice guy. Wee Ramsey. Wee Ramsey from Michigan. Endeavor, what's up? Fifteen thousand three hundred and thirty to be exact. God, Tamsin, you must be keeping a tally score of that. I bought these little mint humbugs today. They're really, really good. I don't think you're meant to eat them like as much as I am right now. I think I'm just meant to have them like every so often, but they're nice. Carolina, welcome to the stream, Carolina. Okay, guys, good turn this heading ever so slightly. Bank right to the left. Endeavour coming in with that like. Thank you. This message is really annoying me. Dude, tunes that are great. Oh my god, I forgot about tunes. Did he still sell them? I used to eat cherry tunes like they were sweeps. Robert's getting connection lost too. Oh, really? And I think Paul said you were getting that as well. It must be something to do with their servers then. I'm just glad it's not just me. I hate it when that shit happens. Where do you buy tunes? Honestly, I've not had tunes in ages. I love cherry tunes. They're so good. Same for you, Paul. Right, so we're all experiencing this issue then. Tiki coming in with the view. What's up, Tiki? Welcome. How you doing? We are the Tiki girls. Tiki, Tiki. They might be uh, fiddling with their servers. Or they're fiddling with something, man, but I don't think it's their servers. If you know what I'm saying. They're fiddling with their flaps. Michelle, welcome to the stream, Michelle. Whoa, we've got turbulence there. Did you guys see that? Okay, I'm just going to go a wee bit more back to the right. That should lighten us up. Nice. Boris, welcome to the stream. Robert Sima, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the like, Robert. Almost at 70 likes here, guys. Keep smashing it, keep smashing it. I say fly over London at night in the helicopter because it's awesome. Dude, I'm going to have to do that. I'm still not the best at flying it. Ian French or flying them. 
I'm better at flying the, the smaller helicopter with the, um, is it the blue one? Yeah, much better flying that than I am flying the, uh, the first one that it offers you. Ah, Pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut, can took a fried chicken in a Pizza Hut, McDonald's, McDonald's, can took a fried chicken in a Pizza Hut. Dave, welcome to the stream. Uh, wait, what? They are apparently out of stock everywhere. What's out of stock? Tunes? I I see during COVID the tunes were going like mad. That's what's that's why. You flew over the Charlton Stadium uh, and set, sent a pic to Ben and he loved it. Ben would love a picture of a hot dog, man. Like, wouldn't you, Ben? Gregory Flanagan coming in with a like. Thank you. I really appreciate all the likes, guys. Thank you so, so, so much. You could send a picture, a picture, a picture. You could send a picture of a, of a fucking spoon to Ben and he'd love it. Wouldn't you, Ben? Guys, we're on sixty nine reactions. 69. Woo! Captain, can I get a spoon? I don't want to keep licking my giant tub of Ben and Jerry's caramel choo choo ice cream. <laughs> yes, you can get a spoon, but you're gonna have to share your giant tub of Ben and Jerry's caramel choo choo ice cream. Why does this sound like an intro to like a Pornhub movie or something? No, thank you. Captain, I need a spoon for my giant tub of Ben and Jerry's camel choo choo ice cream. <laughs> no problem. Al Bradford, what's up, Al? The more you like, the deeper you get. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jeez, oh. Keep it PG! Holy oh, shit! <laughs> Keep it PG? Pornographic? Fuck's <laughs> oh, <it's> sake. <laughs> Keep it PG, people. Keep it PG. Guys, we are one more like away from 70. Smash that like button. As soon as I start saying dirty words, people tune out because they probably get their phones blaring in the living room whilst watching, whilst their mum and dad are watching Coronation Street, and all they hear is PORNO! <laughs> their mum and dads are like, what? What are you watching? Nothing, mum! <laughs> Creepy and cold. Tease This is just wrong. What are you watching, Martin? Nothing more. You better not be. <laughs> Teddy Weed, what's up, Teddy? Oh, guys, it was so funny. I was in Morrison's today, and literally there was this guy in the, the cold food section, like, where all the fridges are, where they do, like, steak pies. <laughs> and this guy, it was, it was... I shouldn't have laughed, but it was pretty funny. But it was, like, a grown-ass man. And he was just shouting at his mum. <laughs> saying, I want some squares biscuits with my tea tonight, Ma! She was like, you're not getting any squares biscuits! See if everything in my trolley adds up to over 72 pounds! You're for it! He was like, aye, okay, Ma! 
I fucking hibbled. I actually burst out laughing, like, and I had to walk away. I was like, <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I want some squares biscuits, ma! <laughs> this is like a 32 year old guy. Oh, it was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I just can't get it out of my head. Brilliant. Honestly, I felt like I was watching a comedy. Mary, welcome into the stream. How you doing, Mary? <laughs> See if everything in my trolley amounts to over 72 quid. You're for it. <laughs> such a such a unique number, 72 quid. Very random. Gave me a good laugh, though. Guys, uh, we are 70 nautical miles out, I believe. Wait, no, we're not. We're 54 nautical miles out. We're going to start descent. Let's drop our speed down. Some speed brakes out. Okay, and altitude. My ice cream has went liquidy and it's went on my nose. Oh my goodness. Get that cleaned up. Boozman, what's up, Boozman? Hey guys, we are in descent. Marco, welcome. Guys, hit that like button if you haven't done so. Smash that like button. We are in descent down towards Gatwick Airport. Thousand feet. Um, bad okay, uh, we are down to set. Lovely. Safe to say this flight's going pretty well. Hopefully, the landing is decent. And it's not a bouncy one. Okay, we're gonna get everything done a bit early just to keep me right. So we're gonna set our auto brake to. Oh, it's not letting me set the auto brake. Maybe we're going a bit too fast. Okay, we won't set that just yet then. However, we are gonna be dropping below uh, 10,000 feet in just a moment. What airport's this? We're gonna get our taxi lights turned on. Our landing lights. And we're going to drop our speed to 250 knots. Which is going to slow down our rate of descent slightly. Marnus! Coming in with the like. Thank you, Marnus. Okay, so that is now dropping to 250. Love it. How you doing, Marinus? Good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Thank you so much for the 45 stars, Marinus. You're a legend. Thank you. Let's go. Appreciate it, dude. You're at 12,000 feet. Gareth, welcome. How you doing, Gareth? Down at that 250 knots, dropping below 11,000 feet in just a moment here. Luigi, welcome to the stream, Luigi. What do you do with stars? So, the stars help me afford new equipment for the streams. So, for instance, my gaming laptop, I'm about to purchase my new desk that I'm going to be getting. Oh guys, I need to tell you about this desk I've seen, and I am going to be getting my new graphics card as well. So it helps me keep the stream going, guys. It helps me buy things that I really need. Streaming is not 
cheap it is a very expensive thing to do and the new graphics card that I want so that everything looks amazing and runs smoothly is like £2,000 so it, that's where I invest all the money back into um, but I'm currently, currently trying to get that new graphics card they're really hard to get at the moment guys there's a shortage of them um, I don't know whether I'm going to get the graphics card or I'm going to just get a PC with it built in if I get the PC it will cost a bit more but I will have a high, very high end gaming PC that um, means I don't have to wait on the graphics card being available because these companies already have them that build the PCs so that's what I do with the money um, I really want to get this 4090 graphics card because it's going to make Flight Sim look insanely good and I'll be able to run every single setting um, and max it out as high as it can go so the graphics will look so so good um, and I also want to get a 4K monitor as well so that I can pretty much record everything in 4K and it means other people will be able to, to view it in 4K as well so there's a lot to get guys I seen a desk today that I really want um, you can actually control the height of the desk it's an electric desk so I control how high or how low it goes really really cool it's £509 though it's quite a lot of money but it is really 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 cool so I don't know whether I should get it or not what do you guys think? Should I get the electric desk? The ultimate debate, cookie dough or fish food Ben and Jerry's ice cream? Um, Ben and Jerry's, I like fish food. I always buy fish food whenever I'm gonna get Ben and Jerry's. Always fish food. Okay guys, gonna drop our speed down. To 210 knots. Core or no core? Wait, what? Core or no core? What does that mean? Flaps back in. Not flaps, speed brake, sorry. Flaps to position one. Dropping to 200 knots. And dropping to 170 knots. What does that mean? What's it, what's core ice cream? What's I don't understand. What we're we talking about here, guys? Please make sure to hit that like button on the stream. Thank you so much. Keep those likes coming, guys. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Flaps to position three, and should be able to go full. There's Gatwick Airport up ahead. I'm going to disconnect my controller now. Let's try land this plane. Did I turn the online mode off guys? It's so laggy and I don't know if it's maybe because the servers are just so jam-packed full of people. So let's try to help this out a bit. Oh, I, d I know what you're talking about now. Eh, I would go core. That looks pretty good. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Hopefully that helps out. Probably won't, but... You okay guys, just gonna drop our speed down a tad more here.
Lee, welcome to the stream. Chris, welcome to the stream as well, Chris. I've never tried that one, Tamsin. Here we go, guys. Coming in for a first landing in the Airbus A310. Let's make it count. Okay, I am taking the little pile off and we're flying manual. Don't know how to stop the AP beeping, but hey. That's just the autopilot beeping, guys. Don't know why it's still beeping, but it's not anything that we have to worry about. Uh, you need to, if you can find it, I'll give it a shot. Ben, welcome back. Okay, guys, dropping down to 100 and... 40 knots. Auto brake, let's see if we can set this now. Let's just hit medium. Did you use those bets I sent you last night? What bets? What do you mean? Bets? Bets? Okay guys, dropping their gear. And they're drop our speed down to 137 knots. Or one, let's go uh, 137. Go. Okay, everyone, give me some hell yes in the chat, guys. It's our first landing in the A310 uh, 300 series. Let's give it our best shot. Deactivating our auto throttle. Sorry about the beeping, guys. I've no idea how to turn it off. I'll have to work out a way to do that, but we're coming in nicely here.
down. There's Frost. We got it. Struggled to get a. Oh no, we didn't. That's fine. Welcome to Gatwick, guys. First landing in the Airbus AFD-10. That was our first full successful flight in the Airbus A310. I'm, I'm happy with myself. That, that went really well. Still a lot to learn, but one plane down in the sense of getting a full flight and landing, take off, land, cruise, and landing. I'm happy with that. Lights switched off, strobe lights off. Jim, welcome. How you doing, Jim? Guys, keep smashing that like button. Hit that like button if you haven't done so. Thank you. Just got a like there. Thank you very much, Kathy. Let's turn to the left here. Yeah, Paul, yeah, the alarm's going off. I've literally having that same issue with the alarm going off with the AP after I've switched off, man. It's weird. Kevin, how's it going, dude? Thank you for tuning in. What is up? About my way, taxi. No worries at all, Tamsin. I'll see you tomorrow. God, the birthday stream. See you then. Oh, I do agree, Paul. It's very, very annoying, but. Not much we can do about it. Sean, welcome to the stream. How you doing, Sean? Yeah, Paul, is yours uh, laggy? Like, is your A310 laggy when you fly it? Mako, coming in with like, thank you, Mako. Park up over here, guys. Mine is the frog does uh, do what you doesn't do what you wanted to do. Got you. Mine's super laggy, man. No idea why. Josh, show me your yoke sec. This one? 
Why, Ben, are you getting one of these? Yeah, there's a red button on it, yep. Why, Ben? What's... Hey, what was your question, Kenny? Sorry, what was the question? Good morning, Mariv Sabante. Why do you ask, uh, Ben? Why do you ask? in this plane. Um, yeah, it has a red button on it. Yep. It's the Airbus A310. Garfield, welcome. But yeah, it's super laggy. Guys, we just completed that first flight. Let's go back out to the menu. That stops the alarm. That's the autopilot button, Ben. So that's how you. That's so you hit that red button to turn the autopilot on and off. So that's what we were doing, and that's what I used, and it wasn't stopping it. Yeah, the red button cuts off the alarm. It's an AP disconnect button. Yeah. So what was happening, Garfield, is when I disconnect the AP, the AP alarm still goes off, saying it's like the ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Like, literally just keeps going off. Um, even when I've disconnected it and it just doesn't stop. So, it would turn it off if I was to put the AP back on. Which is what that red button does. Turns it on and off. So, it, why isn't it background talk? What do you mean, Kenny? Background, background talk. What do you mean? What do you mean? But guys, that was a fun and successful flight. Really enjoyed that. Um... Let's go fly. Let's go get some practice in the helicopter. I uh, no idea then. Just looked it up and others said it worked for them. Yeah, it worked for them because they've turned their, their autopilot back on. <laughs> Fannies. <laughs> yeah, if you disconnect using the switches, then push that button. It should cut it off. Got you, Garfield. So you might be right, Ben. Um, Garfield's saying that if I turn it off using the switches, then push that. It should turn the alarm off. But for me, I think it flicks the autopilot back on. Strange. I'll give it a go, Garfield, on the next flight of doing it. Let's get inside the heli chopper. I need to learn how to fly this thing, guys. We need to we need to get this down. We need to get this down. Okay, let's load into a random wee place. Outskitties. Because why not? Sky, I'm doing good. How, how are you doing and how's your mum doing as well, Sky? But I also keep forgetting to turn off the auto throttle. Oh yeah, dude, you've got to do that for when you're landing. I done, I done it. See if you treat Garfield. I've got a good, I've got a good, um, like a, a good re reminder for you. Just, just pretend to yourself that you're flying a Boeing seven three seven, and you will be fine. You'll remember to turn it off. It looks just, it looks and works just like the seven three seven. So just bear that in mind, dude, and you will be, you will be fine. See, look, there's no lag here, so it must just be the A three ten. Oh, I tur I turned all of it off, Kenny. I turned off the uh, all all the all the all the voices. They annoy me. I just fly without it, man. Ooh. Oops. Quite a lot of rudder input here. Dude, honestly, literally it worked for me. I just copied what I'd done in the 737 and it works. You dumped in the shower, but you're back. What have you missed? You missed a successful landing so in the Boeing 7... Uh, the, ah, see, damn it, I've done it! Um, in the Airbus A310. Yeah, dude, I've had a few crashed the desktops as well. 
Yeah, dude, there's just so many people. I turned online mode off. Just because there's so many people on, dude. So guys, with this helicopter, it's my landings that I really need to to work on. So I'm really struggling to try land and also to turn the plane. Or the helicopter, should I say, but I mean I'm getting used to it. It's really hard to fly, but we're getting a bit better. This is going pretty well. But landing is very tricky, so let's see if we can get a successful landing down. And then I will be happy. Elry, welcome to the stream, Elry. Get a wee bit more height. There we go. So I'm just going to try to land back down on the airfield here. So far, so good. Yeah, dude, the blue one's the blue one's definitely the easier one to fly. I think um, this one's pretty tricky. Okay, we're just going to pull back a bit. Try to slow this down. Keep it going, keep it going. Get up, get up, get up, boy. Get up, go, 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 go. See, this landing I find really tricky here, guys. Really tricky. Still getting used to it, still getting used to it. It's pretty windy here as well, but... Okay. Go forward, forward. Oh shit, 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 shit. No, I don't want that, don't want that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Steady now, steady, steady. How do you deal with this again? Oh shit, 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 go, 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 woo! Ah. Fuck! See how quickly it can all go wrong? So this is called the fucking, it's like a vortex or something you can get caught in. But it will just keep spinning out. So fucked up. This is why I will never fly a helicopter in real life. Like, <laughs> screw this. Look, like, come on. Like, is it really, like, that can't be right. That cannot be right. That cannot be right. Look at the state of this. So it was all going fine now, this shit? What the fuck? This is bull bollocks. Plugged in? What do you mean, Elry? The yeah, the other controller's unplugged. It's literally just this hard to fly. Honestly, it's difficult. Okay, I think I'm getting control back. Okay, I've got control back, guys. I've got control. Whew. Honestly, see, once once it goes wrong, once you're caught in that spin, it's so hard to get out of. Okay. Let's try that landing again. Marilyn, welcome to the stream, Marilyn. How you doing? Careful, steady does it, steady does it. Forward just a tad, over. Steady does it now, steady does it, steady does it, steady does it. We better throttle, tell me. Round a touch. Come on, Josh, you almost got this. You almost got this, Josh. You almost got this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Ah, fucked it. Fuck. It's too hard, guys. It's just too hard. And we're caught in this fucking vortex again, which I don't know yet how to get out of. So hard to fly. I just sent you a video of what the lighthouse does at night. Wait, what? This lighthouse? Hold on. Wait, dude! I don't see that! Why am I not seeing that? Hold the phone! Really? The lighthouse hasn't done that for me! What is it? Hold on. Nah, what? How come your lighthouse does that? Oh no, wait, it is doing it! Oh, for fuck's sake! Can you- Can this thing just stay still for like a second? Please, for the love of God, can you just stay still for a second, lighthouse? Lighthouse! Helicopter! Oh my god! Like, this thing's impossible to fly, like, literally. Stop spinning! Stop it! Just stop spinning! There's no need! My god, man! For fuck's sake! This is worse than playing Fortnite! This is ripping the actual piss. This is ripping the actual piss out of me. Right, let's start again. Okay. Steady does it. Right, why is my lighthouse not... Flashing. Oh, it is! Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's pretty sweet. I'll give it that. The lighthouse works. Nice. Hey, what's up, Charlie? Wait, we need to get these landings down. Paul, how's your landings in this helicopter?
Okay in the one you're in, great in the other one. I'll take it. <laughs> Yeah, so this one, this one's definitely a lot trickier to fly. Let's try the other one. Guys, please make sure to hit that like button, hit that follow button, and if you'd like to support the stream further, guys, hit that star link in the chat. We're almost at 2,000 stars. 425 stars to go, guys. So close to that 2K. We're just going to hop inside the other helicopter. See if we're any better at flying that one. Do you have those green lines that appear for you, Paul? Because that was happening to me. Um, departure. Wayne, thank you for the like. Appreciate it, man. Come fly with me. Let's float down to Peru. Uh, oh no, that's a... okay, I'm pretty sure I can fly this one a lot better. That's how it should be a fly. Woohoo! Now we're talking! See, guys, that other helicopter was just a pile of pish. <laughs> Much better flying this one. Let's just get battle, battlefield vibes to it. Oh shit, that wasn't a good move. Definitely a lot better flying this though, guys. Okay, let's see how well we can try land. Oh, 
Oh, it's hard, harder, harder to land when you get so when uh, the closer you get to the ground, the harder the spin gets. Woo! Okay, stop from spinning, Josh. Stop from spinning. Stop from spinning. And pull back, pull back. Lower that throttle a bit. And stop the spin. Stop the spin. Oh, touch down. Okay, the the landing's definitely the hardest part of flying a helicopter. <laughs> Or flying this one anyway. I'll take it. A bit rough, but I'll take it. Concentration faces on, and up we go! <laughs> and down we go, and up we go, and down we go! Check me out. See if we can flip it. Ah, I can't, he crashed. Oh, I tried to do a move there and it did not work. Shit. Guys, I'm gonna go to Dubai because I know for a fact there's like a helipad there. And I want to try, I want to see if we can land on it. Gary, welcome. Diane, welcome. I want to see if we can go land in the helipad. Dubai, Dubai. There's probably quite a few in New York as well, actually, come to think of it. Okay, let's do it. Throw it away, forget yesterday. We'll make the grave escape. We won't hear the word I say. They don't know what's anyway. Won't you burn? Let it die. Cause we are finally free tonight. Throw it away. Forget yesterday. We'll make the grave escape. We won't hear the word they say. They don't know what's anyway. <laughs> Sorry guys, just got to check on something. Wrong one. Wrong one. I'll check. Okay. What's this? Let's see if we can land in this.
Yeah, let's go. There's so much input you have to put in onto the throttle, like for lowering the aircraft and for lifting it, but it's not too bad. Kinda get used to it. This flies very similar to the helicopters in Battlefield. That's what this kinda feels like. About 60% of the helicopter goes to hover. Ah, okay. That's good to know, actually. Very good to know. So is that the trick to landing, Paul? Is to get it, get it to hover and then slowly just bring her down. Tariq, what's up, Tariq? Welcome. A nice speed to put up. Yeah, as you will then have more control of the descent, got you. Guys, please make sure to hit that like button. We're almost at 100 likes. Keep those likes coming. Pretty sure there's a helipad over here. So we're going to go try to attempt to land on it. Most tall buildings have one on top. Really? Well, the one I know of is that building right over there to the right. The one st like standing on its own.
You're almost there. It's really cool, actually, because you do really get to see everything on this thing. Whoa! Careful, Josh. there. Okay, here we go guys, let's attempt this landing then, see how this goes. Try to get a bit more height. Okay, here we go guys, let's attempt this then. Hold on, before we keep going, I want to record this. It's be funny as hell to watch. God, you're right, dude. Sixty percent is the is that point, man. I'm actually just gonna push it up slightly more. There we go, guys. Attempting a landing.
gosh. Keep it steady. Steady, boy. Steady, Josh. Steady, steady, steady. so difficult to land a helicopter, my goodness. Uh, coming in again. Okay. Concentration face. Goodness. Guys, I am a terrible failure at this. Is this easier to do in a controller or something? Like, because... Paul, I'm gonna have to watch you land in this, man, just to see... ...what it is you're doing. Look how unstable, like, this is! It's like, I'm fighting everything here! This is going to be fun to watch back. What better way to practice though than on a freaking skyscraper in Dubai? If I can get it. That was awful. I'm not gonna lie, guys, this is probably one of the hardest things I've ever tried to fly in place on. Wait, I just can't get the. I'm just gonna leave this here before like we actually knock it off. But I wanna watch that back. That'll be hilarious to watch. Very tricky.
Just gonna zoom this out a tad. You guys, look at this. <clears throat> Pardon me. It just doesn't want to go down, does it? Wow! <laughs> hey Paul, I'll turn the online mode on for you, man. Yeah, that should be on now, Paul. See you, Paul. Nice one, Paul. Oh, where are you going?
Yeah, I'm waiting for you, Paul. I'm watching. You got it, Paul, you got it. Unlike me, look at this. Guys, please make sure to like the stream. Thank you. Oh, where are you going? Got us, Paul. got us. I know almost. I'm gonna try land uh, with controller, see if it makes it any easier. Um, I don't feel like I've got as much control over the throttle as what I do. Oh dude, I've got like no control. Nah, I'm finding joystick easier than that, oh my god. So the throttle control on the joystick is... ...harder, but the, the actually controlling it... Here we go guys, we got this. Just wanna go up slightly. Ever so slightly. Little baby steps, baby steps. That's what we want, just little baby steps. Come on. Come on. Up you go, up you go, up you go, up you go. You just want to edge and slowly. Nice and slow, easy does it. Go back slightly. Bring it back down. Oliveira, thank you for your like. It's hard. Oh yeah, fuck. But the landing is not easy, man. Don't think I'm ever gonna get used to that. Let's try from inside the cockpit again.
Tell you who'd be good at flying this. My wee brother, he's sick at flying the helicopters in Battlefield. He'd probably be really good at this. Fuck's sake. This isn't like impossible. I would love to see a professional actually like fly this. Like honestly, like I have so much respect for helicopter pilots now. <laughs> like this this is not easy. Way harder to fly than a plane.
No, funnily enough, I'm, be I'm better at getting it actually on it when I'm coming with the high speed uh, landings. Look at this. Better accuracy towards it anyway. That's so funny. Well, safe to say the helicopter I think is going to be the, the hardest thing that we learn to fly on this. For sure, 100%. No doubt about it! Thank you, uh, Kitsana, for the like. Guys, back in just a moment.
Guys, we're gonna um, end the flight sim stream there and we're gonna switch over to do some Fortnite. So I'm gonna restart up the stream if you wanna come hang out with us. Then feel free. Who the hell is that flying over us? Is that Lady in the other helicopter? Lady, you're brave. Go for it, Lady. <laughs> um, so if you'd like to rejoin, guys, I'm literally just about to start that back up uh, in just a moment. So... Uh, just give me a second. I'm gonna set it not for it. You know, the one thing about gaming is sees all the cables. Oh my goodness, there's just so, so many cables. I'm gonna have to manage my cables a lot better because it's getting a bit out of hand. Well, it's getting very out of hand, not a bit out of hand. Here. Sit you there. Uh, display capture. Why can't I see myself? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Guys, one moment. Just trying to get everything working again. Ah, there we go. Got it. Uh, guys. They need to get some proper camera stands or something for all this because this is absolutely insane. Set that there. Close. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this stream and start up the other stream. You're not going to hear me. I'll give you a thumbs up when I'm ending this one. When I do that, simply just join the new one, guys. I'll be literally a minute.